All right, let's get into the iPad itself. And here's the different flavors it comes in. Uh, you have the Wi-Fi only models without the AT&T 3G piece of it. Uh, starts at 16 gigs for 4.99. Uh, goes up to 32 for 5.99 and 64 for 6.99. Uh, I've always been a believer in bigger is better. So more is better, especially in memory. So if you can swing the extra money, go with the 64 gig. Uh, there is a Wi-Fi plus a 3G. So the difference is it has the Wi-Fi built in, and it has the AT&T cellular also built in. So you can use it as a phone. No, no, it doesn't have to. <laughs> but we will have a video showing the latest. <laughs> so the Wi-Fi only, only works if you're in a place with Wi-Fi. Yes, the Wi-Fi will work in a place with Wi-Fi. I just came back from a conference in Las Vegas at the Bellagio, and their Wi-Fi wasn't free, although the days in is free, so go figure. Uh, they wanted $15 a day to use the Wi-Fi, which I thought was kind of crazy. So I used the 3G on so I use the AT&T 3G since I have a plan on the iPad. Um, now, when you get into the Wi-Fi models, and also the 3G models, there's another way to sort of skin the cat here. And I think Megan, is it, no, you have it, right. right? You have the uh, hotspot. Right. Yeah, there, there's a device called a hotspot, or a MiFi, or what's Sprint call it? Do they have their own name, proprietary name? But every, all, the, all the vendors have it. So it's a little device like this, or it can be actually part of your phone. So Joe has a um, HTC, the Evo 4 from Sprint, and his has a built-in hotspot for, what, five devices? It's funny. You, if you read one article, it says five. If you watch the TV commercial, it says eight. Well, so whatever. Whatever fits. So theoretically, what you could do is not buy the... Uh, 3G model, have your MiFi or hotspot and just use the Wi-Fi and not have to pay the plan for AT&T. Uh, now, if you're in the car, I think it would work, right? Works in the car. Mm -hmm. Any place you have cellular reception for that carrier, you have the Verizon model? Yes. And you got that for pretty much free, right? Yeah. The actual device. The actual device was free, and I already had a Wi-Fi plan, so like a limited, you know, the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. So for me, it just made sense because I would have had to cancel that plan, or would have probably canceled because I don't really care for AT&T. <coughs> right. So when you're deciding what model to buy, it just depends which way you want to go. I happen to get the 3G because I don't use it that often. Most of the time, <coughs> there is a hotspot somewhere, and. Uh, it actually works very well. The, the 3G is not as fast as the uh, uh, Wi-Fi. Can you add it on later? No. Can't add it on later because the antenna is built into the system. So, you well, know, doesn't your left hand block it if you hold it? No. It's another product. <laughs> <laughs> so the difference is $129 between, a, so that's a one-time cost, and then you have to sign up for the plan. Um, Wrong button on this. But you can turn the plan on and off month to month. Right. Uh, Apple also sells a protection plan for $99. It's two years. Uh, Best Buy sells their own protection plan if you get it through Best Buy, which might actually be a better plan because if you drop it and crack the screen, I'm not sure the Apple plan will cover it, but the Best Buy plan will cover it. Do you recommend getting an extended warranty? Yeah. It's a, it's a new product. It's fairly expensive. It's 99 bucks for two years. So, I, I would do it. There's some third party companies too that do it. Yeah. They're called Square Free. All right, any questions about this? This is sort of on important. The, on the space, I think, you know, on the computer, I've never been able to fill up a hard drive ever. What would it take to fill up 64 gigabytes on, a, on an iPad? A lot, but it, again, it depends well, on the application. What kind of uses would do it? I mean, if you're like a. Movies? Movie yeah. Yeah. How many movies would it take to fill up? A lot of movies. Okay. <laughs> a lot of video. If you're in you know, production company, you're doing videos, you're loading on the iPad, you're taking it out to clients, uh, you could fill it up. And 64 gig today isn't all that much, really. Okay. So if you use something like this when you were on the road, when you got back to the office, is there a way to get it on your system if you're not an Apple person? Yes or no? Uh, give me a few minutes, we'll get to that. Okay. 
I mean, that's why I've never done any Apple products because it's it's one of the things we're going to talk about. So. Well.